You got lost in the forest? Don't understand why a viking is smashed down on you from the skies while zombies are crawling out from beneath the ground? Not to worry, because I'll teach you how to find your bearings and win at Cuisine Royale like a professional. The general idea is simple. The last survivor at the end of the match is the winner. Before rushing off to battle, choose your character. Each one of them has a unique ability. Clyde the Beast can fly into a rage. In this mode, he runs fast, jumps high, and hits hard with his fists, but he cannot use regular weapons. Annie's specialty is sharpshooting. She can slow down time to make it easier for herself to shoot off enemy heads. Muscular It's Ocelotl can turn invisible. However, he cannot attack while his ability is active. Our friend Eric Thorson here can summon a Thunderstrike, where he soars into the sky and drops down on his enemies with crushing force, scattering everyone in the impact zone. Val Chase, on the other hand, can dash across space and pull off truly head-spinning moves during battle. Next up, customize your character. Give them a fitting outfit, a stylish mask, clean underwear, a talisman, a tombstone, mystic signs, body gestures, and other stuff. These additions to the character's visuals won't just make their appearance unique, they'll also grant you crucial bonuses that will assist you in combat, like the ability to see vacant vehicles on the minimap or to summon a zombie apocalypse. A beautiful game, though. I love it here. That's what I like.
Oh my god, that was so stupid of me. Let's go! 